Hello, Virtuoso family. We're feeling a little differently this week, and I'm coming to you via Zoom because our offices are closed in New York, Fort Worth, and Seattle. Everyone is working from home and staying in touch with messaging emails, Microsoft Teams, which we love, and of course, using video so we can see each other live. I want to start today by talking about our Virtuoso Global Member Advisory Call on Wednesday, which was one of the most sobering calls I've ever been on. Hearing from members around the world brought home the unprecedented scale of this crisis. Now, just this week, Qantas and South African Airways just now have canceled all their international flights, and the world's largest hotel chains are closing properties following what many independents have already been doing. So it's very clear how serious this is. But this was also one of the most inspiring calls I've ever been on, because I heard so many examples of people pulling together, doing the right thing, and simply staying strong. We have been longtime members of the World Travel and Tourism Council, WTTC, whose mission for over 30 years has been to make the world aware of the social and economic importance of our industry. One in 10 jobs are directly or indirectly related to our industry. And in the past four years, one out of every five new jobs around the globe have been attributed to our industry. This crisis certainly has brought a new spotlight to those facts, and suddenly we're not the sideshow so many people in the financial press and governments had thought. In the meantime, a friend of mine, Dr. Peter Diamantis, the famous founder of the X Prize Foundation and the X Prize, sent me a newsletter that was very welcome since the subject line said some good news on COVID-19. Here are just a couple of highlights. They've talked about uh, extensively about all the experimental, experimental vaccines that are being done right now. A lot of exciting stuff there. But one of my favorites was the story of the 103 year old woman in China that has made a complete recovery and that there were no new cases reported in China as of a few days ago for the first time since the crisis started. If you want to read the whole piece, we're posting it in the Virtuosa Crisis Toolkit. So, sobered yet inspired. That's how I'm feeling. And what am I recommending to do? Stay engaged with us and each other. Read the newsletters from our teams around the world and take advantage of opportunities for collaboration and exchange of best practices, like our new collaboration teams that we just rolled out. Now we have uh, two member owner advisor network calls, one that's happening today at 5 p.m. Eastern time in just a little bit, called Resiliency Prescription, Stress Proof Your Brain with Jenny Evans. And on March 27th at 2 p.m. Pacific time, we begin a new five-part weekly series with our own amazing Helen Odlin and Danny Cords called Disruption Eruption. What the heck do we do now? The links for these are in this email. Specifically for partners, we held a partner town hall last week, and there are some uh, upcoming specific town halls for sectors um, that we will get deeper into. That's also listed in this email. You'll be receiving email signups for the calls, and you can find more information and recordings if you can't make it on virtuoso.com. I want to add that if you don't have video capabilities, it's time. I've said for a while that our future will depend on leveraging technology that increases human connection, our competitive advantage, and that future is happening now. And speaking of the future, guess what? We're hearing from our team and our virtuoso family in China that the two hottest topics on social media are, where am I gonna travel as soon as I can do so? and I can't wait to get back to my favorite restaurant. We're all having to make difficult decisions to align ourselves to this new reality, but it's essential to do it through the lens of a reimagined future. So I'm gonna start sharing some wisdom from some of my favorite leaders that I follow, many of whom I've had as keynotes at Virtuoso Travel Week, like Patrick Lencioni, founder of The Table Group and author of The Advantage, who recommends the following to help us get through this time. He says, be exceedingly human, listen, compassion, care, and vulnerability. Vulnerability is not a weakness. It's a strength. Being real, that's how you connect. And be persistent. Just take the next best step with the information you have now and don't second guess yourself. There's not energy to do that. But that leads us to creativity. Remember that fear is the acronym Future Events Appearing Real. 
and that diminishes creativity. We truly don't know what the future will, will go, so let it go. It's time to rethink everything. So think about all those things that you've said to yourself, I wonder, fill in the blank. And speaking of creative, our Global Member Advising Board Chair, Amanda Klimak of Largate Travel in Connecticut, is holding a virtual Zoom dance party tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And we're gonna have some fun and get silly. She has, I think, a maximum of 500 people can join it. And why the heck not? You know what, even during World War II, there were some of the best dances, some of the best music there ever was. So stay healthy, stay strong, and remember, we're all in this together. Until next week.